Hey guys, what is up? It's Charlie here with another video for you guys and girls today, and this is going to be my first League of Legends commentary. Um, I am going to be Panda Timo, M E S Titanium. I just got the new Panda skin, and he looks awesome. And um, this is going to be a 17 kills to one death, zero assists. Um, League of Legends game I played today. I'm only level 11 at the moment, so I'm not, I'm not the hugest, best pro player in the world. Um, I have been playing quite a lot though. I'm trying to get my level up. I've only been playing for about a month, um, but I'm hoping to get level 30 soon. Uh, I'm playing a lot more now. I've been playing StarCraft 2 for the last two weeks or so, um, a lot more than League of Legends. So hopefully I'll be able to get to a higher level and hopefully be able to get some more ranked games out for you guys. I'll also be getting some replays from some other guys who are ranked as well. Um, at the moment I'm going to be mid laning with Teemo. Um, and the, my, the other middle lane is Fiddlesticks, who are we playing against um, in this game? And I am here. And to start off with, I um, buy the Doran's Blade, which is a pretty easy start. And obviously, I like to say, fuck yeah, it's Teemo. You know what it is Captain Teemo, Captain Teemo, Captain Teemo, Captain Teemo. The awesome black and yellow cover by The Lol Songs, which is pretty funny. Um, and it'll do this quite a lot with the attempting to reconnect. This is a uh, I'm using LOL Replay. I've only just installed it a couple hours ago or so. Um, it's I'm getting used to it. I'm not too sure totally how to use it. And as you can see, Fiddlesticks there just showing his little face there. Zalsin, he's got Doran's ring. Um, as you can see, Timo's invisible, and I love using this tactic to start off the game. Um, I just go and sent to go invisible, wait for the other enemy mid laner to come past me, or just be like, oh, where's the other mid laner? Come up to my tower if he can get in front of me, spawn. then it's really good because I can use exhaust on him, slow him down, um, and hit him down with that toxic shot, dealing crap loads of damage to him. And um, you'll see I use tactics, this tactic quite a lot. In the top lane on my team is Master Sniper as Fiddlesticks and L Boy 96 as I'm not sure uh, what character that is. There's Ash as well, and you can't really see them. And then there's Volbear over here, um, and those two are on the bottom lane. Minions Let's go ahead and chat around here because I did see that he went into the bushes over here, so I think he's going into the bushes over here, and I'll go into the bushes and find that he is actually there. So I'm going to start hitting him down, and obviously Captain Timo did a lot more damage than um, Fiddlesticks in the early game. I could have probably exhausted him and actually got a lot more damage down, but I didn't because I made a mistake and didn't exhaust him. Um, it's not too bad though because I will catch him in later. And as you can see, I'm invisible again now, so he can't see me. He probably thinks that I've gone off somewhere in the lane, and as you can see, it's coming back now. And now I slow him in with the exhaust, hit him with the toxic shots, and one more toxic First shot, and left. he's not going down, and there we go, he hit him, so I get a kill straight away with that dude. And primarily I'm going to be concentrating on Captain Teemo, obviously, because I'm playing Captain Teemo, and this is kind of low game, and I'm not too sure about the character's abilities yet, but I'm still learning the game. It's all new to me, so it's pretty cool. And now that I've got the first kill on the fiddlesticks, um, it means that I, I'm going to get a few levels ahead of him straight away. Which is really good for my mid lane, also I can farm a load of stuff over here straight away on the enemy minions. Toxic Shot is really good at the moment for me. I love Toxic Shot, especially considering if they get if you get them to really low health, you don't actually have to go past the tower to kill them. Slain. You can uh, lay a Toxic Shot on them and after 4 seconds it'll kill them straight away. And as you can see there's two over here that are going to try and come and gank me. Um, but I actually I think he's going somewhere over here, I'm not too sure. Um, and then I go for my blinding dart as my third one and two top shot already. Not going for that um, move quick speed yet. I generally go for the move quick speed after and I've got my boots or um, after a little while. But Captain Teemo's speed is really really pushing hard. But it doesn't. You don't need speed as Captain Teemo straight away. You need it kind of in the later game when you don't have that much armor resist. That um, kind of you don't have that much. Uh, damage taking, I almost want to say, um, and Teemo is really, really good with um, the Guardian ain't the Guardian Angel, I think it's Guardian Angel, I'm pretty sure it's Guardian Angel, um, in the later game, because if it's three second cooldown, so um, it'll, you'll die, in like kind of in quotations, you'll die, you won't actually die, but you'll look like you're about to die, um, and then you will uh, come back to life after three seconds. And with 750 and a 300 mana, I do believe, um, that will basically give you quite a lot of damage output straight away because those three seconds mean that your blinding dart will probably re 
uh, do that, you'll move quick, possibly all three do that, and also give the next time to get exhausted. Then. And as you can see straight away, the um, Club 6 is using this stupid drain life ability, which I hate. Uh, it's so annoying, and he drains quite a lot of life straight away, like um, with the plus one on it, he drains a life quite quickly. Um, it's pretty annoying, especially as when you want to get him down and then you kind of have to leave him for a bit. And as you can see there, just kind of pushing him back so I can get some more damage output and farm some of these um, minions. Just keep him pushing him back, keep him pushing him back, keep him attacking him and getting his life down. So that if there is an engagement between me and him, obviously I can beat him in the engagement. And there you go, another blinding dart. To keep his life down as much as possible so that drain life there will be used, but obviously on minions, not on me, so he can't get that much health back. Um, there are quite a... Useful. Close. There are quite a few, um, and there you see the first cannon uh, minion is coming out, and now I get another bit of damage output on him. And as you can see, his health is still going down due to the uh, the, the toxic shot. Remember, this is my first cast, so I might get a few things confused and such. Hopefully, it won't be too bad because I do StarCraft 2 casting anyway. And yeah, StarCraft 2 versus League of Legends, blah blah blah. Hate whatever, whatever. I think they're both got games, they're very different, and I both love them. Um, Level 5, level 4 at the moment, so obviously I'm getting a bit ahead. I'm not that far ahead, but I am nearly two levels ahead in terms of XP. Um, his mana is really low as well because he keeps using his abilities, whereas mine stays at you know, around 125, which is still pretty low, but it's you know I don't use my abilities that much due to toxic shots being so freaking good. I uh, get top shot 5 out of 5 first um, because it's just insane damage output once you have top shot 5 out of 5, it's so good. And as you can see there, I'm, do, I'm doing the invisibility thing again, so he doesn't know I'm here. And as soon as he starts pressing forward, I'm going to gank him straight away. And obviously his abilities don't work for me when he's using the, even the AoE damage things don't work for me because I'm invisible. And, and as soon as he's there, I slow him with the exhaust and then hit him down with a blinding dart and a few other um, toxic shots as well. Get one last toxic shot on here and he won't die, but he will then die you now because of the enemy. four second wait time on the poison, which is just... <laughs> Just so cool. I just love doing that, people. It's so cool. It's kind of like the um, if any of you have seen World's Best Blizzcrank, um, it's kind of like that where he kind of lures them in and then he just ganks the crap out of them. It's so funny. <laughs> it just makes me crap myself so many. Um, it just makes me laugh so hard. Um, yeah, these minions keep on spawning. Farming the minions, getting a bit ahead whilst he's still um, dead. Getting all these. Uh, getting going back now because I have 1500 gold, which means I'm going to grab the boots and then I'm probably going to grab some of these and start working on my malady and straight away. So we have the boots, and whilst I'm getting HP up, I'm going to go for the sword. A sword? I'm pretty sure I go for the sword. Um, so let's speed this up. Yeah, I go for the sword there. So speed this up so by the time we get over to the map because they do travel all the way over here and it's not that fun watching a panda team mode. Well it is kind of fun watching a panda team walk across the map. Um, and then as you can see I'm level 7 compared to his level 5. He's trying to get me there again but he walks kind of close to the tower and has to back down so I get another 2 shots of him knocking knock 2 bars of his HP. Obviously the minions attack me but because I'm 2 levels ahead it's just getting weirdly out of control and I keep on getting damage output on him because of these darts. And especially with the toxic shots, that means they get even more damage output because of the 4 second damage time. And the cool Noxious traps, um, the mushrooms, but they're not actually mushrooms, they're panda. I think they're like tea bags. I think they're tea bags, I'm not too sure what the hell they are really. Um, yeah, it still says mushroom, but it looks kind of more like a tea bag, I'm not too sure. I don't know why it would be a tea bag. Maybe because pandas are Chinese, but not too sure. Um, the annoying scare ability that bringing the scarecrow has. He does remind me quite a lot of that scarecrow out of Batman, which rather annoying. And then I get a bit closer to the tower and he attacks me. And he gets shots off the tower. And then I'm going to actually damage him down here. Even when the tower hits me and bang, one more shot and he's going to go down Killing again me. due to the fact of toxic shot. It's just so freaking epic. At the moment, I'm 3 to 0, which is pretty cool. Um, 3 kills, 0 deaths. I've got that DPS. Pretty good. And now we're going to need plane, still people here, and I'm going to try and DPS down this uh, tower, I don't get it this time, but I will get it afterwards. Ash Moon comes from over here, um, we have a weird ball, um, Volley Bear just kind of backing up behind the tower, it looks like they're going to try and go for some flanking attack here, Volley Bear's charge obviously it makes it really good versus these lot, obviously you can't see the HP bars, which is a bit annoying, um, you can see the HP bars of other people when they're closer to them, um, which is 
It's a lot better. And now I think if I get the turret this time, I hope I do. I don't actually um, know. I can't remember the game that well. It was, I just played this game, so hopefully. And no, I don't get it because I have to move back from the scarecrow, which is really annoying. And then I accidentally misclick and go back to him. Looks like I got the tea bag, and it hits him, obviously, giving him a slow and a bit of damage I put on him as well. And obviously, it also does poison on him, so obviously, well, you can't see that now because it's a stupid thing. I mean, it does a bit of poison on him as well. I'm going to go back because I have 1000 gold, which means I'm going to be able to not fall. I think I'll go for that. Yeah, I'll go for the stinger instead. Um, get. Oh, no, 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 don't. No, no, nope. I go for those three, and I'm going to get the malady next time I go back, and hopefully get the stinger as well. Guardian Angel as well, going back to that, um, is really a teamer because if you go invisible, you wait for the team fights whilst you're invisible, you get people to on top of you, and um, you can gank them all, they think they've killed you, then you actually, like, well, they don't think they've killed you, but they kind of respawn straight, you respawn and then gank them even more, which is just so funny, and especially when team has an epic lead like this, um, he starts building up a big lead compared to the enemy team because I'm obviously like, farming to kill the scarecrow so many times over and over and over. They start getting really annoyed. Uh, level 9 compared to his level 7. Obviously, that means it's a big lead in terms of two abilities and a lot of gold and stuff, and a lot of farming as well. Extra XP and means more damage as well in the terms of stats. Um, we have got a lot of things going on at the moment with Fiddlesticks and Jacks kind of battling out over here. Me and me battling over here, and as you see, this turret is so low, I wanted to get close and kill it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go invisible again. Leave two tea bags by me, just in case. Um, we have got Volley Bear over here, and Ash just firing away, getting those minions, and then we have the enemy award rock over there. He's been a bit clever about this now because he obviously knows that I can do this invisibility stuff, and he's obviously caught my trickery. But what I can do is I just wait, 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 because eventually he has to push forward because he realised that I'm not going to be there, but I actually am there, ninja. And as you can see there, he pushes forward. He's like, oh, he's still not there. Herp, derp, and then he gets level eight, and then hopefully I think he goes a bit further forward, and boom, and then I slow him with the exhaust, hit him down with a few more darts, and then he uses the bloody annoying. Um, there, but then I actually get the last shot and kill him again with another toxic shot. Um, get to level 10 that time as well. And toxic shot. Oh my god, I have used this ability so much. It's just ridiculously insane damage output. And then I do actually get to get this turret now, and I think I get the next turret as well. Which means I get another extra 200 gold um, for me because I get the turret each turret for the 200 gold. Inhibits, I think, are 300. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Um, yeah, I'm going to. I think I get more damage done on this turret as well, the second turret, uh, second tier turret. I've been watching a few other cats to see what they're called and what they are starting to the wikis. And there are more minions coming in, which means obviously more damage output and more um, resistance as well. And I have a few tea bags to hopefully, I'm just going to call them tea bags now. I think that's might be like parcels or like something, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I do just get, and there you go, there's the mushroom. Um, I do start getting more damage, and this turret is eventually, I think, going to go down. I don't know. And no, it's not because I do pull that from the fiddlesticks coming through, and also they have the cannon minion over there. But I do manage to drop a tea bag and go invisible. But I'm not going to use this ability because I don't because it's basically useless here because this will defeat this um, even without me helping with any damage and I'll get a few more shots off on um, the fiddle six scarecrow and hopefully I'll get him even more and then I get my other toxic shot uh, top shot is now five out of five and um, move quick two blind knot two and my noxious trap is two so obviously I've got a big lead now by three levels um, let's pretty insane and then I've also got one tower down the enemy has zero towers down and the other two lanes don't have a tower down much either and then I get to push this one and kill this one now because I'm just going to target this one down and even if these guys attack me I keep on attacking it because I wouldn't die and then he's going back up here there's a lot of um, things going on there's a bit of a wait over here because I'm going to go and recall something new speed this up a bit for you guys and, and I go and grab my stuff which is the malady and the sting oh, I don't actually get enough to get the stinger but I was close so I just grab another two swords as well and that puts my attack speed 
And we have a lag. Here we go. Okay, drive my taxi up and then slow this down again. There's a level 7 coming in here. I think I get the gank from him. I'm not too sure. And then it's level 8. So as I say that. Yeah, I'm going to get the gank from him because he's not watching his hero. Um, we eventually see him turn around and the toxic shot yet again drops for another 300 gold. And that blood splatter, that epic blood splatter is so cool. Let me do it. This time I actually get down as well, because no one's watching this time. And I stick two T bags down as well just to um, do some damage and slow any enemies down to let the minions kill them or sign attacking this turret. Um, so it's gonna be just a little bit too, yeah. Um, and then he actually comes back, uh, this dude like, teleports straight over here to um, one of the minions and just pushes me back, but obviously I can be invisible. Wait for the hero, obviously I can see it's still here, it's going to fade eventually. Um, the teabag set up here, so if anybody comes on top, fast teabag, slows them automatically, shoot them with a few toxic shots, then drop a blinding dart on top of them. That just helps quite a lot if you have a teabag and then a few. And then we go, there's the level 8 again, which has ganked a few minutes ago, and then try and get some shots from him. I think I actually get the kill here, I'm not sure, because he's been a bit of an idiot here, not going to um, turret. So I do eventually get that guy killed because he does another damage here with the toxic shot yet again. Oh my god, toxic shot is so good. And then we'll push up, kill this turret straight away. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Dude, there. He chased me down, but I get a few shots off from him, and because I'm so much higher levels than they are, and have a lot more gold, it means I can put a lot of damage output on top of them uh, instead. I'm going to fire out some of these minions from behind, take a few shots, make my minions a bit more sturdy. Hopefully get this push here, get a few rewards, shots off, and then I'm going to have to here and push back with still about mm, one third HP left. It's pretty good. Knock shot two, five, three, and three on both of them. And me just laughing throughout this entire thing because Captain Teemo is so overpowered from lower levels. And now I'm going to go and grab my stinger. I think also grab the book because I wait it out um, and get the... Uh, Oh, yeah, I wait out and get the 300 to buy that book. Speed up so I can get to over here again. Slow it down again. Because I do actually go invisible here, and hopefully he'll come and try and get on top of me. Um, and there we go, he's going to come kind of close. I'm just going to let him kill some more minions whilst he goes there, and then whilst he's on top of me. And boom, I come out of his ability straight away, damage him down, and go into legendary on my um, potion. You drink quickly. Go into that legendary. I should see this again. I don't like having massively long videos that you guys don't have to watch. And then I'm going to make sure this turret goes down, and then I think I get to kill me in a bit as well. Here. Oh no, wait. Oh, and then the dude over here is coming out. There's no turret for him at the moment, so I can chase him down and try and get a bit more DPS down on him and leave him a kill. And he obviously gets out of the way when there's no dude over here. And then I get a big kill with the blindy dart and boom, I kill him with the shot again. That I shot again. And this dude, for some reason, thinks he can chase Teemo down. And I'm still after that running. And then he turns around eventually after he realises that he's been a bit silly. And I get the kill again on this dude. I get a double kill. I think it's a double kill anyway. As you can see, I he, oh, he goes for the heal here instead, and then I get jumped by Jax. Jax being a pain in the ass, thinking he can kill me, and boom, I get slow on him, so I can turn around and shoot a few times with my toxic shots. I can put the damage down him, and then Fiddle Six comes and packs me up, and get Fiddle Six back and up stuff. And then I keep on just uh, turning around, hitting him, so I don't lose too much health. Uh, and then I'm just going to be able to stop. Slow him down with this one. Oh, wait, I don't even have to slow him down with this one, so I can just hit him straight away. And we have another bit of lag going on here, just because of the attempting to reconnect stuff. This is a lot of replays. Um, never really tested this, hopefully I can get the sword out in the future. Make it pretty cool. Um, we have like, level 9. Carbon is versus my level 14 now, and he's just going to get absolutely quite a here. Obviously with the top shot damaging him still. And then I get the kill here. Pretty cool. And then I get to knock down the inhibitor. And I actually get this inhibitor this time. No, I do. Remember, I do. 
down just while Jax is about to come and jump on me and try and stop me from doing it because I have low HP. But remember, Captain Team, I would run, slow down with the exhaust, keep on firing, knock him over the sack, but I'd actually get to get him over the tea bag. Um, and these minions helped me with a bit more damage on top of him. Still getting him out with those darts so the toxic shots would do more damage on him and get, hopefully get one final shot on him. Um, two final shots, sorry, and boom, goes down. So I go down here, my first death, and I get a shut down there, and he gets 600 gold bonus because I had a massive killing spree. I just want to speak to a lot here because I am actually just dead. <laughs> Not much point in watching me die. Um, and then I go over Executed. to uh, over here so I can kill this dragon because the dragon obviously gives an extra load of gold which is going to help quite a lot um, I start attacking him without anybody helping me so I lose a bit more HP but obviously after this I get down to about half HP but obviously I want uh, to a load of a load of I drop the key bag to make sure if anyone comes in and ganks me I have some kind of defence I then grab the guardian angel which it is probably the Guardian Angel, I thought it wouldn't be, and then I was like, oh no, I've been caught by this epic thing for like the last 20 minutes, and it's not an actually named slain. that whatsoever. A bit embarrassing. So that was Team coming back in with the Guardian Angel with that cool little glowy thing that you get from wearing the Guardian Angel, and he goes invisible. Because I did see a Jax ninjuring around, look, in the shadows. Over here, level 15, level 11, oh, and there's another level 11, so I do actually wait for this one, dude, to come here. Don't go to Jack, go to the street straight away, take him down, go to Jack after that straight away. Try and get slow on him, but I don't actually manage to because obviously his horse isn't there. And then I can't actually get any more damage out on him because the award comes in and tries to kill me, but he gets quite a bit of damage output, but obviously not nearly enough compared to what he needs to take me down. I'm gonna come back in, kill off this stupid freaking fiddlestick that should not be in mid versus Teemo. Because team mode is epic. And I'm going to get a double kill and kill the other player as well. Getting the force mode just in the ward there. And then I'm probably going to push in and kill this tower. Um, but then obviously there's Jack running here. So he could possibly jump on top of me and get this tower do some stuff for me. But this is going for that. Just going to get attacked with the tower because I'm going to try to kill Jacks again. Um, Exit still there trying to defend against these super minions. But I doubt he's going to be able to do that. So I decided to fiddle over here, Your team has destroyed just whilst the they turret. kill that turret. Um, then I go in for this turret as well. An enemy has been down, but I get shot at, and I don't want to be shot at because I will die within a few shots afterwards. Wait for these minions to be shot at. Go straight up, start DPS down this turret, and I'm taking 76 damage per shot. I'm doing two shots a second nearly now. Pretty really damn good, you know. Um, two shots a second basically Your means that I'm just And then there's nearly a team fight, but basically for a drink. And then I nearly die here. Oh, 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 dead. But remember that guy is here. Bang back up. Knock down. Knock down him as well. And double kill straight out of <laughs> with his Guardian Shield. How good is Guardian Shield? Seriously. Like, it's just awesome. Anyway, he's going to kill this inhibitor as well. This inhibitor isn't coming back in time soon. And it does say it's respawning soon. But obviously, I can kill this one. So it's not respawn. Not sure if it does or not. Uh, but I can go back over there for the If I want to. And that allows some super minions to come over here, and then I can start DPSing down this turret, DPSing down this one, and then let GG straight away anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Charlie with a AK, the Ultimate Snow Wolf, um, with my first ever commentary for League of Legends. Please subscribe.